Hello. In this circuit here, I'm going to be demonstrating what is known as an SR latch. It's one of your very, very basic digital circuits. And this series of videos is going to be looking at all kinds of digital and transistor circuits being connected together. But let's just start. What is an SR latch? Well, very simply, if I press the set switch, S, the set or Q LED comes on. If I then hit the reset, the reset LED comes on and the set LED goes off. In other words, if one, neither both LEDs cannot be on at the same time. If I attempt to press both at the same time, they both go off. So set sets the Q output high. Reset sets the not Q output high. Okay, that is our SR latch. Before I get to the actual latch circuit, note that I'm using a pair of debounced switches for set and reset. I would highly recommend going this route because it gives you cleaner, more reliable operation. It, it just makes less problems. It gives you a clean, when you press the button or close the switch, you get a high out. Very simple circuit. The latch circuit consists of two NOR gates. In this case, I'm using 74LS02s. So they're two input NOR gates. That is a high on either pin will produce a low output. The 7402 itself consists of four two input uh, NOR gates labeled A1 and B1 or A and B and Y. The truth table is as follows. If A and B is low, we get a high. Any other combination of low, high, high, low, or high, high will give me a low output. Keep that in mind. All right, starting off, S and R should be zero volts. That's your normal setting for when you're not changing Q, uh, Q naught or Q. Let's start out by making S high. That by itself is going to make pin 1 on the output low. This low output it's going to make it's going to make sure that the not Q LED is turned off. But that low is going to go down here into pin 5 on the lower NOR gate. And this is already set for low. So that is going to produce a high output and turn on my uh, Q LED. All right, we're going to leave S in its normally low state, and we're going to make R high. By making this high, we're going to make the output at pin 4 automatically low and the Q LED will go off. That low is fed back to pin 3 of the upper NOR gate, and two lows going into a NOR gate produces a high, thus turning on my NOT Q LED. So if you have high up here and low down there, this LED will turn on. Well, this, here's your chart right here. If S is 1 and R is 0, Q will turn on. If S is 0 and R is 1, Q will turn off. One state that you cannot have here is S equals 1 and R equal 1. You can't set both of these to 1 because both LEDs will just go off. That is an illegal state. You don't want that. And of course, it's normally set at 0 and 0. Now let's note some electrical connections if you just want to use a couple of switches 
and not my debounce setup. If you're going to use switches like this, the switches, of course, one side of each switch has got to be tied to 5 volts. You must have these 1K resistors to ground because when the switch is open, it pulls the input of these pins 2 and 6 to ground or low. This is just a property of TTL circuits. If you have it connected to my to the debounce switches, uh, you don't need this. And again, of course, the same thing works as for if S is high and and R is low, Q is on, not Q is off. If S is low and R is high, Q is off, not Q is on. If S is high and R is high, illegal. And they normally, when you're not pressing the switches, both will stay low. To close out this section, let's take a brief look at an SR latch using NAND gates. In this case, the 74LS00. Let's note a few things first. The 74LS00 consists of four complete two input NAND gates. Your truth table is as follows. Basically, any combination other than a high and a high on A and B, which will produce a low, all the others will produce a high output. Compare this with the truth table for 74LS02. Complete opposites, aren't they? So this suggests, because these truth tables are different, and the circuit connections are basic are sort of the same. Note the input connections. Note the input connections. In its normal resting state, the input R and S must be held high. That's why these two resistors are here are pulling it high instead of ground. And the, two sw the other side of the two switches, S and R, is tied to ground. So what I've done is I've used pull-up resistors, not pull-down resistors, and I reverse the polarity on the switch. Otherwise, other than note the positions of Q and not Q, they operate much the same. So note those differences in how these connect. We'll be running into this more later on, I'm pretty sure. So this completes this introduction to SR latches. Thanks for listening, and visit my website at www.bristolwatch.com.